everyone, it's Gone's Brand Keep here and today I'll be teaching you how to make an origami 2x2. So make sure you've subscribed and let's get started. For this, I'll be using 75mm origami paper. You will need 48 pieces of origami paper and it is recommended to use a normal colour scheme. Let's start with the white side facing up. Perform a valley fold horizontally and make a small crease. Rotate the paper 90 degrees and repeat the same. Use the crease as a guide and fold the bottom towards the middle on both sides. Now fold both sides of the paper towards the middle using the crease we made earlier. And this is all you need to learn. Once you've done that, repeat the same thing on the remaining 47 pieces of paper. Here is a short time lapse. It took me around 30 minutes to finish. Everything I had to fold was pretty simple. And once you've finished folding all 48 pieces, it's time to assemble the origami 2x2. Start by laying four pieces horizontally in a square shape on the table. And just stack pieces on top to make a cube shape. Hold on a minute. That last part made completely no sense. Let me try to explain it again. I'll be assembling the red, yellow and blue corner. Here we have three pieces for the centre and another three for the colours. Simply put the first one vertically on top and slide the second one in. And now we will do the yellow piece. Slide it in and hide the edges so we only see the colour. Now for the red, you will notice that there is a little gap for the piece, for the edges of the piece to slide through. Do the same for the last piece making sure that the edges are well hidden. All you should be able to see is the center pieces. Now push it in gently. Repeat the same thing for all eight pieces and remember to use the correct colors. For the next part, you'll need a pair of scissors, some sticky tape, and four pieces of string. The length of the string will be measured later. Place the string diagonally onto the cube, and now use some sticky tape to stick it down. Make sure to stick it on both cubes, as this will be our main support. The more sticky tape you use, the stronger you'll be, but just don't use too much sticky tape. And also, don't stick the sticky tape onto the colours, as it won't look very nice. 
Do the same thing to the other two cubes, taping them together diagonally. This will create a cross that overlap the other. Repeat the same thing by taping them together on the other four cubes. Once you finish doing so, put the cube back together. And to make the cube hold, simply twist it in multiple directions. This will create the centre to be tied together. And now the cube won't fall apart. And ladies and gentlemen, there you have an origami 2x2. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you again in the next video, but for now, bye bye.